All right, welcome back. So since I'm getting dangerously close to being able to put the wheels back on the Corvette, I thought I would just use this nice sunny afternoon to finish uh, painting the insides of these mags. Um, can I call these mags? Slotted wheels, I don't know, whatever. Uh, because I used, uh, I used some poor POR um, coating and it's okay, but in some places it didn't fully cover and I got kind of mixed results. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to use this Eastwood Underhood Black and this tiny roller. Because the last time I used a paintbrush and it got all over the inside. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can just use this little roller in here and uh, carefully roll on here. Um, and the reason I'm not using more of the POR 15, the POR 15, is because I saw in another video, somebody had painted their frame with it and they said uh, that you don't want to expose it to UV and that it actually will not hold up really well. It's great for inside, you know, indoor stuff or frames or things that are not in the sun, but obviously that's not this. So I'm just going to use it and it covers well. The, the underhood black stuff covers where it's covers well so you see all that kind of thing i think it's going to take care of that i've also got the spare over here which i did not a great job painting <laughs> the poor stuff is okay but it, it's really thick and it doesn't go on super smooth and so i just thought i'd go over this it shouldn't take more than a coat so that's what i'm going to do and i'll show you guys the results all right a couple quick things if you are going to use a roller like this to paint these uh, put a bend in it so you can get down in there because if you don't if you don't bend it out you're not going to be able to reach into the holes second thing is you want to really use a dry roller i just spread some out on this bubble wrap paint the paint i spread out and i'm i'm not putting a lot of paint if you put a lot of paint on it it's going to drip down inside your wheel lastly uh, i'm using a little alcohol on a folded paper towel and I go in after I paint and I just uh, clean it up. It's really easy to just wipe this down. You don't have to tape these off or anything. You just go in there, a little schmutzy around the edge and follow the lines. Don't go down into the uh, opening, obviously, but it's as easy as that. Super clean, super easy. All right, I'm gonna keep going around, uh, but that's it. Okay, I just finished up and painting the center areas and let's take a look. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So if you remember before, there was a lot of unevenness in the finish and now pretty damn clean. And the centers, centers were hard to do, um, I'll be honest, because these were plain, uh, just aluminum, but I did the best I could. Uh, you know, there's uh, nuts and caps that are going to go on here. So that'll hopefully tighten up, but look at the edges are super clean now. Um, I did have to jam the roller down there in the corners a little bit, but it got in there pretty well. I'm not looking for perfection. I mean, these are, these are older wheels. I did a lot of polishing on them, but they're still what I would call five foot wheels. <laughs> In other words, if you stay, you know, you stay about five feet away, they look great. Like over here, like you're like, yeah, that looks good. Um, they're not like new and they're not going to be like new. Uh, so I'm just waiting for the paint to fully dry. Still a little bit there, but even the spare uh, it looks way better. I got this center part was kind of lumpy on the spare, but that's okay. This, um, this was one of the original wheels, uh, but it had this little fracture in it. And it might be okay, but I went ahead and ordered a replacement anyway. I got it off of eBay from the salvage yard. And uh, so I'm using that in conjunction with the, th the three other originals. And then that becomes the spare. And I have the original spare actually from 1971 that has no wear on it. Brand new tire from 1971 in case you, any, anybody is interested. Uh, you're working on a, you know, judged car. Maybe that might come in handy. Anyway, that's what I got, you guys. Uh, 
pretty happy with these. I'm gonna call that done. Like they say, good enough is good enough. And these are absolutely good enough. So I'm just gonna clean, clean up the lettering on these Cooper Cobras and maybe next time you see them, they'll be on the car. Okay, before we go, uh, while you guys are typing, hey, those aren't original to 71, that can't be. Those weren't until, yes, these are 78s. I have the receipt as part of the paperwork that came with the car that I bought. And I like these wheels, I'm gonna keep them. So yes, they are later 70s, early 80s wheels. Um, but this is what came with the car. Uh, the originals did not, and I like these. So when I say original, that's what I mean, original to the car. All right, see you later.